in this video we will see what is copilot studio why we need the copilot studio how it will benefit business these copilots and what is the difference between the copilot studio and the azure bot service so first of all what is copilot studio so it is a no code low code tool that enables business to integrate ai driven interactions and automations into their business applications and the workflows it will allow users to create the ai based experience that can automate the task and enhance the decision making process in the different platforms like the microsoft dynamics 365 power platform and the azure why we need copilot studio so they are having several benefits of using the copilot studio into the business one is it will enhance the productivity so basically if we have any repetitive task then we can automate with the copilot studio it will reduce the manual workload and it can improve the efficiency of the applications next is it can with the copilot studio we can use the personalized ai experience so like we can use the ai based solutions for the applications which can which can be benefit in the customer support and marketing and several other internal business applications then also it helps in making the decision making uh, basically if we have any data driven decisions if you want to enhance then with the uh, decision with the copilot we can make those decision making integ integrations easily with the copilot and then it is the uh, the integrations of the uh, copilot studio is easy with the microsoft ecosystem so integrations with the like dynamic 365 power platforms power apps and then azure platforms so those integrations can be done with the very easy configurations so it will benefit uh, in the uh, operations uh, easily and uh, it reduces a lot of uh, efforts on that so this is why the copilots can be helpful in the business applications then uh, there is another service offered by microsoft on the azure portal that is the azure bot service so using the azure bot also we can configure the copilot then where it is differences lies between basically if you see the copilot studio is used to build the ai power automations and assistive experience across the power platform but the Azure bot services it uses the conversational bot that's called the uh, conversational chatbots kind of for the customer services and uses the custom use cases so if we have like basically uh, any custom use cases if you want to build then that can be done with the help of Azure bot service then uh, this copilot studio it uses the OpenAI and advanced nlp natural language processing to automate the complex task and it integrates uh, the ai driven uh, decision supports and also the it we can generate the insights on this uh, using the nlp so but in the case of azure bot service it uses the conversational ai and uh, it sim is something like we can chat through the user using the ai so it is something like that so it is not the uh, like custom uh, it is not like the copilot studio it is the conversational like uh, the how chat gpts and we are having right it is like that next is uh, uh uh, the development of the copilot studio we can since it is no code low code so and uh, we any, any non-developer they can develop and create the copilot uh, copilot using the copilot studio but the azure bot service when you use the we have azure bot framework where we need to configure the bot and backend whatever things we need to set up for that we need to uh, we need developer some coding experience to build those in backend uh, layers next is uh, the integrations of the copilot so the copilot studio can integrate with the microsoft ecosystem easily uh, as we mentioned seen before like dynamic 365 power platform azure power automate flow and azure platform whereas the azure bot service can be integrated with the across different platform wherever the uh, uh, flexibility is there with the frameworks we can connect it so like teams slack facebook, uh, facebook messengers and etc so in, we can integrate it and we can use this bot service to across different platforms so these are the some uh, points about the copilot studio next we'll go to the uh, copilot studio site and we'll see the user interface
all right so we are here so this is the copilot studio site where we can create the copilot or we can deploy it so first of all in the right side you should have the navigations of the environment so when you are creating the copilot you will be creating to your dev environment then you will move to the test or qa or the pre prod or prod so wherever when you do that you have to make sure you are selecting the right your right dev environment you select it then in the left side you have the different navigations the home screen it will dis display the the different uh, latest news and templates of the copilots then we have the copilots uh, navigation here so here you will see all different copilots available in your environment and you can create the new copilots from here so i have created the new copilot from here so you can see here this is the my copilot created and uh, if you want to create the new copilot you have to uh, click on new and here you can create in the two way one is the you can this is the uh, copilot studio basically the copilot for the copilot studio where you uh, uh, give the message that i want to create the copilot with the so and so things so it will use your instructions and it will create the template of the copilot based on your instructions so you can do that one otherwise you can skip the configuration and then you can create the copilot with your own uh, descriptions what you want to do and you can create it so it's totally up to you so once it is created uh, you can open the copilot here i'm just opening it So here now the once you open the copilot you will have the overview page where you will see the name of your copilot the description of the copilot you have given and if you have enabled the knowledge base basically you have some knowledge based documents right so if you want to use those documents in your copilot then you can enable the knowledge base you can turn it on and off and in the knowledge base you can add the document if you have if you go to the knowledge base tab here then you can add your documents we will see that in the upcoming uh, sessions of this uh, copilot then we have the different topics it is important part of the copilot where the users can interact whenever the users will ask something the one of the topic will be picked up and that will respond to the user then we are having the actions there are some actions which will be performed based on the user input and the actions can be before the uh, before the ai was introduced the action was called from the uh, from the uh, topic with a specific text but now actions can be automatically picked up based on the what user is asking and that it can be triggered based on the ai but ai will decide which action i need to trigger it so those things can be done now automatically so we will see those things also in details the next is the published copilot so now from here if you make any changes to the copilot you have to publish this publish it so that the latest changes what we have saved it will be visible in the published copilot next is here the test sections here we can test the copilot with the uh, the uh, the design you have done with the topics and actions and those things we can see it here so this is a few navigations few details about the sites where we can do that one so i hope this video is very uh, beginning level as a beginner if you are trying the copilot then this might help uh, what is a copilot and how to configure what is the navigation and all so it will help you that so i will be uh, showing the demo on this copilot further and we will see the more details on that so uh, thank you for watching this video guys